okay. FogQuest helps people gather this water by erecting vertical panels made of a carefully chosen plastic mesh. A robot usually does just one job and does it very well. That single task defines how the robot moves, its shape, and what parts it needs. Robots work for us in many ways. They assemble cars and VCRs, or explore volcanoes and the surface of Mars. They serve as security guards and assistant surgeons. Robots even do precise and dangerous jobs, like disposing of bombs and mines, or inspecting nuclear reactors. Each type of robot has the parts it needs to do its own job. Use this program to select a job then build a robot that has the right parts to do it. The Innocence Project uses DNA testing to prove the innocence of people accused of crimes. Except for identical twins, no two people share the same DNA. If DNA from a crime scene does not match that of the suspect, then that suspect is most likely innocent. Many innocent people are sent to jail based on eyewitness accounts. As the Innocence Project has shown, these are not as reliable as hard DNA evidence. Barry C. Sheck and Peter J. Neufeld co-founded the Innocence Project in 1992. They worked with students at the Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law to help prisoners prove their innocence by DNA testing. To date, their efforts have freed 234 innocent people from prison, including 15 on death row. Witness provides laptops and video cameras to activists, to shine light on human rights abuses around the world. People in countries like Burma, El Salvador, and Croatia are trained to watch and film human rights violations as they occur. Even video cell phones are used to gather information. As a result, world leaders cannot deny what is going on in these countries. Videos about social issues are posted on their website www.witness.org. Each month, more than 40,000 visitors view media posted by key witnesses to global events. The Jaipar foot is an artificial limb given away for free to those hurt by landmines, polio, or other accidents. Its flexible ankle joint allows people to walk, sit, run, climb trees, or ride bicycles. Mobility gives people the confidence and ability to go to school or earn a living. More than 325,000 limbs 
have been fitted in India and 20 other countries since 1975. In Africa, many farmers haul water to their fields by hand, limiting how much they can grow. With this super moneymaker pump, they can get more water to their fields year-round. This low-cost water pump is human-powered by a simple stair-step motion. No fuel or electricity is required. Farmers who cannot afford irrigation systems can use this pump to grow high-value crops with greater yields. The Super Moneymaker Pump has helped more than 45,000 families increase their income and decrease their reliance on rainfall. The Super Moneymaker Pump. More than 10 million people living in the Niger Delta do not have clean water to drink. The Moore Sand Filter was developed to improve water quality and public health. A paste made from Nata Moringa's tree seeds is layered with sand and rocks. This treatment removes 99% of bacteria and toxins from water polluted by oil drilling and poor sanitation. Each filter cleans 26 gallons of water per day. This amount will support a family's drinking and cooking needs in Nigeria, and it's equal to one average shower in the United States of America. Solar Sailor reinvents the wind-powered ship by mixing sun, wind, battery or diesel powers. A wing-shaped sail doubles as a solar panel to charge the batteries in a hybrid diesel engine. Used together, this technology reduces fuel use by as much as 90%. Consuming less fuel also decreases pollution from commercial boats that move people and goods. Solar Sailor is like switching from gas-guzzling SUVs to hybrid cars for marine travel. Scientists can now read the human genetic code. Every day, they're finding new medicines and treatments hidden in DNA's helix. But they still don't know the whole story the genetic code represents. Genetic medicine offers innovative ways to detect, treat, and even cure diseases. But it also raises tough issues for doctors, society, and individuals. Explore these exhibits and consider how genetic medicine affects you and your family today and in the years to come.
So there has to be some optimal angle, and that's what these kids are trying to figure out. Right? How much sunlight can be reflected on the solar panels? 